Man, just listen to them too. They're trying to convince me that they're hungry. They were fed an hour ago. I'm just out here working around with chickens. Filling nesting bucks. Did you know a pig will act like that because they think they constantly need to eat? And I mean constantly. You can't overfeed a pig. And if you fall for that game that those two guys are playing back there, you can't make them very unhealthy to save time by overfeeding them. I know they're well fed. <clears throat> and they just ate some pellets. They do get a small ration of 16% pig pellets every morning and in the evening. So I know they're good to go. <laughs> Joke's on you boys. Oh yeah. Go on rod dire. It's not just the pigs though. All animals are like that. If I walk over to that feed shed and I open up that door, they think they're getting fed. When just an hour ago, they was just fed. When I open up that door, then pigs are right up against it. They're the first ones that'll be alerted. Then the chickens are alerted. Then the ducks. I think it's pretty loud out here when you open up that feed door. But keep the rations down. Low. Let everybody forage. And it helps keep that feed cost down. Really low. My local feed mill. They may see me two times a month. That's about it. And the amount that I get barely fills up the bed of my truck. It's getting close to the end of the season and temperatures at nighttime are dropping. For those that haven't noticed, like tomatoes, they're getting Pretty well done. There's still some hanging, but we'll get them. But harvesting any more after these ones probably won't happen. Still get peppers. Still get some of them. Check it out. Thought I came back through. I missed one. And that's probably it for that plant, actually. This row, pretty well done. Still getting peppers, like I said. Ghost peppers are still coming. Banana peppers, jalapenos, bell peppers. Which they're getting to be pretty nice size, actually. I'll pick them here, here later on. Because they're almost full grub. I will, or somebody will, here. Beans are due again. I need to go through them real quick and pick them. See how everything's starting to turn? Even the uh, potatoes, they're starting. Whenever they start to do that, it's about time to harvest. Last thing we'll actually have, yeah, there's sweet corn in there. That'll be the last thing we end up harvesting. Is that row? Actually, I think there's three or four rows of sweet corn in there. They're not big rows. Maybe 50 foot in length. But that's enough sweet corn for us. Keep us satisfied for a little bit. Next year, hopefully, we can find someone to work with and put in a bigger bigger garden and then we definitely will be produce selling if we can have, can achieve that like i said i gotta find somebody to work with to let me put in 
a big garden in their area on their property. Not bad for a quick run through. But as I say, <clears throat> yeah, we get more more ground somewhere. We put in a decent sized garden. We are gonna go full bore produce selling. If I can do it next year, I'll do it. We'll just have to travel to that garden almost on the daily. Or on the daily. Weed it and everything else. Then once produce starts to go growing, picking, and all that fun stuff. See, before all of that, I myself really didn't know too much about growing peppers, potatoes, or any of that stuff. I've been around a little bit of tomatoes, some sweet corn, but that was pretty much it. Growing up, I was around more animals than anything. Goats, sheep, chickens, geese, uh, occasional pig, stuff like that. Horses. I'm trying to remember everything. There was quite a bit off, quite a bit around that area. Then I had aunts and uncles that had pig farms. Had a pig farm. And then another aunt and uncle, they had a dairy farm. And I did get to run, run amongst on those for a little bit. You can see a little bit of how things are done. That dairy farm I did help out on. It was a lot of fun, actually. Kind of want a dairy cow. I ain't got the room for it. I ain't got the room for a dairy goat. I'm going to have to improve on this. Two and a half years. It's coming. More land. There's going to be more critters. Self-sustain. <clears throat> so if you are wondering why I do a lot of this, you've probably already caught on to some of it. I don't go to grocery stores that often. Most of my stuff is from here. I do sell some stuff. We got some canned goods in there we sell. And we sell the eggs, of course. <clears throat> Next year, we're going to add in a couple more items that we'll be selling as well. But I've also stocked my freezer, too. Yeah, grocery stores, very minimal. I might have to run for a gallon or two of milk. Stuff like that. But as they walk in there and fill up a grocery cart, nope. I got plenty of pig in the freezer from the boys. I do got a half a beef in the freezer now, thanks to a good friend of mine. Uh, comes right off of his farm, not from anything else. His farm, butcher, my freezer. Some of the best beef I've ever had. Yeah, that's why I do a lot of it. No grocery shopping. And when we do, like I said, very, very slim. Or you can still see the bottom of a cart when we go. It's all the more items we need. Maybe some grocery, um, milk, some butter, not margarine, butter. We don't do tubs of margarine here. Like I just said that weird. <laughs> but I gotta go in and get something to eat it's Monday I gotta get ready to go back to work tonight till next weekend don't forget like, subscribe comment on them posts that I throw out there and don't forget work with what you got see y'all